better safe than sorry. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll talk about getting the daily insurance for a rental car. Whenever you travel or your car is at the repairing shop, or you just need an extra vehicle, you are in a situation of renting a car. You will rent it on a daily basis or maybe even longer. The rental company will offer you a daily insurance to cover for everything. Any damages to the car or any injuries you may suffer in case of an accident. They will also ask you for your personal car insurance, and they will hold a deposit to cover for small damages that you might cause to the vehicle. The daily insurance for a rental car is not very expensive. It will be within $10 per day, and it is definitely worth having. Before you drive the car out of the lot, the rental agent will be performing a pre-trip inspection on it. They will look for any scratches, cracks, bumps, paint issues, etc. They will also look inside the car to make sure that the car is in clean condition when they give it to you. If you don't have the daily insurance when it comes to return the car, they will also do the post-trip inspection and will look at any other new issues the car might have when you return it. This is a long process, and multiple times the car comes back with new scratches, little dents, little paint chips, and many more, and you will pay for the needed repairs out of your deposit. To avoid all of this hassle and instead just park the car and drop the key into the returning box, you need to get the daily insurance to cover every potential damages. They won't even look at the car when you bring it back. This is a peace of mind that it's worth paying for. Let me tell you what happened to me one time. I was involved in a car accident in which I was not at fault, so the insurer from the other party offered me a free rental car. I did not know, but they offer you the rental car only and you have to pay for the daily insurance. Because I wasn't paying attention, I did not pay for the daily insurance. After just a couple of days, I was involved in a car accident. It wasn't my fault. Another car got my rental. Because I didn't have the daily insurance, the rental car company the insurer for the party at fault started fighting to each other. Soon, the rental car company asked me to put my personal car insurance on to fix their car, then wait for the other party to pay my insurance company back. It would have been such a hassle. Just imagine, my insurance should pay for a damaged car when it wasn't my fault and then had to go through all the process to recover their money. It would have been so bad on my record. Luckily, I had my own insurance lawyer calling the insurance company and explain them that we will not provide our own insurance to fix a damaged car we are not responsible for. If I had paid for the daily insurance, I would have been covered for everything. I would get a new rental car within minutes and everything will be taken care of. If you don't get the daily insurance, you could just drive somewhere, and in the parking lot somebody could hit by mistake your rental car with the shopping cart or their vehicle, and then leave, and then you have to pay for the damages. So my advice is to pay for the daily insurance for a rental car, which will cover everything, and you don't even have to do anything. You will just drop the car at the rental lot and throw the keys to the front desk office, and you are good to go. No hassles, no pain, and no headaches. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe, so I can give you more advice regarding other topics like insurance claims, roadside assistance, DMV late fees, and many more. Thank you so much for watching.